next grammar point is simple postpositions. Postpositions in Hindi are something like prepositions in English. Prepositions or postpositions are the words that express location, motion, association, belonging, or some kind of relation to nouns. Here are some examples of prepositions in English. In, on, for, about, etc. English has prepositions. That means they are positions before the noun. That's why they're called prepositions. For example, in Delhi, from Canada, with my sister. So in the phrase in Delhi, the word in, the preposition in comes before Delhi. That's why it is preposition. In the phrase from Canada, the word from comes before Canada. That's why it is prepositions. Hindi, on the other hand, has postpositions. It means their position after the noun, postpositions. Delhi may in Delhi. So the word may, the postposition may, comes after Delhi, after the noun. That's why it's called postposition. Canada say, from Canada. Say comes after Canada. That's why it is postposition. Hindi has five simple postpositions. May, in, per, on, say, from, tak, up to, and ko, to. Let's take some examples. I have marked the Hindi postpositions and English prepositions with the red font. Delhi mein, in Delhi. Chutti par, on vacation. Agra se, from Agra. Ramnagar tak, up to Ramnagar. Then we have school mein, in a school, in the school. Hindi does not have definite or indefinite articles. That's why it can be in a school or in the school. Mais par, on a table, on the table. Singapore se, from Singapore. Bazaar tak, up to the bazaar. And then Somvar ko on Monday, Sham ko in the evening. For time concepts like the last two examples, Hindi uses the postposition ko, Somvar ko on Monday, Sham ko in the evening. 